And we're set for our second contest of the evening. O'Shea Jones, Sonia Drayling, a rematch from Jones's pro debut. So a perfect way for us to assess just how O'Shea has been developing as a professional, getting to run it back with the very person she started her career against. And she says she doesn't want it to go to distance this time. Sharp left hands just like that will certainly help that cause. You can see the difference in the hand speed yeah. automatically. Dryling's a little bit slower. She but she's willing to mix it up and, rough and try to rough her up. And that's the kind of fight it should be if she's going to expect to win. O'Shea looks so seasoned and so comfortable in there. Good shot there from yes. Drayling. You just like our patent leather skirt. Because you're wearing like all leather. <laughs> We're matching a day. As we mentioned, Drayling not afraid to get into a scrap here. And seemingly, the goal for Drayling is to try and initiate these exchanges. That might be her best opportunity here. A absolutely. I think her goal should be to keep that left hand up. <laughs> and she's getting tapped with that the right hook and the jab. I mean, it's it's clear. Sonia's plan, game plan, is is clear to just overwhelm her. Make, it, make her feel uncomfortable in there. Seems like Jones is getting into a little rhythm here. I mean, O'Shea, she's showing she can mix it up as well. She's tough in there. Remember, she pushed that at the weigh-in, you know, just trying to size up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, there's that familiarity in there. She's been in there with her. Good oh. shot there from Jones. That one snaps the head back of Drayling. Nice right hook from the 26-year-old from Toledo, Ohio. O'Shea hasn't found a home for that straight left yet, but I think when it lands, it's going to do damage. I, I think the right hook is landing. And that'll do right it now. for round one. And we saw them going at it here in the opening round. They were also going at it at the weigh-in, guys. Things got a little bit heated yesterday. You guys were uh, up there close to the stage. What was going on? Well, I, I think it, it wasn't no animosity. What it really was is this O'Shea's like, I want to test her. I want to see where her head's at. I want to see if she's intimidated, kind of like the Mike Tyson effect. Oh, here we see the footage from the way in. And there it is, O'Shea Jones getting a little aggressive. <laughs> here comes the elbow in the face. He's like, get that out. All right, I'm going to push you again. <laughs> Sonia. Sonia wasn't getting upset, though. I mean, she was laughing at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was smiling through all of it. She says her faith keeps her humble. You know, and also I think she's like, she's not afraid of anything. Yeah. She has three kids. Oh, there's that straight left. There's that straight left that Bozy was calling for. It's round two underway. Yeah. Believe it or not, Sonia has 60, six amateur fights, 63 and three. So she's been, she's had, she has experience in the ring. Yeah, Drayling won the National Golden Gloves title herself as an amateur. And in addition to the multiple disciplines that she fights in, she also works in a poultry processing plant. She actually completed her supervisor's training while she was training to fight Mary Spencer while she was training at altitude in Colorado. So you want to talk about balancing stuff, Sonia Drayling knows how to do it. She has it together. Well, if she's a supervisor, my son needs a job. We're going to she talk later. She has three kids to feed, and boxing alone is not going to do it right now. Uh, much respect to people who work jobs and train all day and get in the ring. O'Shea I like Jones. this work for Jones, though. You know, th this kind of work is going to help her in the long run. It's I not an easy touch, not a soft touch at all. Yeah, but I don't think it has to be this hard for Jones. I think if she listens to what Bozy is telling her, which is shoot the jab out before, and that's going to set up everything. Oh, she got a little cut on her right arm. Well, that's the dog in her. She wants to match Sonia's energy. Good point, good point. Is that blood coming from her right arm, or is it coming from somewhere else? Uh, I think O'Shea's it's coming right from arm. the face of Sonia Drayling yes. from, from somewhere. <laughs> I think so. 
And it's the body work from O'Shea Jones I tell you what, that's setting though, up these shots. Corey, that, that, that O'Shea's put in work, but it, it's not slowing Sonia down. Sonia is continuing to move forward, even with the shots. Hard left hand there and that, from and O'Shea Jones. That one staggered greatly. Oh. Look at Jones go, putting these oh. shots together. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Oh. How is Savage Grayling exchange standing? There. Wow. I'm surprised the referee didn't stop that, but you know what? Almost that whole time, Dryling had a smile on her face. <laughs> That's the kind of warrior she is. She's indeed a warrior. Oh, this is just a barrage of punches by O'Shea. Sitting down on the left hook and the right hook. Every punch landing. Wow. Incredible. I didn't, what did I tell you about the smile on Dryling's face? And when the round ended, she stood there for a second like, I'm still here. Yeah. I'll be back the next round. Right, but sometimes you got to save a fighter for themselves, from themselves. You know, I've seen her take this punishment and bare knuckle boxing, so she could take it. That doesn't mean she needs to take it. I don't think we're at that point yet where she needs to save, be saved from herself. She got a little left in the tank. <laughs> in her face, you mean. Well, he got it handed to the corner of Sonia Drayling. They've managed to do some good work here. Drayling looking pretty fresh <laughs> after surviving an absolute vicious onslaught from O'Shea Jones. And if Jones could put another one of those together, guys, you'd have to think that the official is going to have a very close look at this one. Absolutely. <laughs> no question about it. But, but what's 10-ounce gloves when you're used to taking bare knuckles to the face? <laughs> well, obviously, it did some damage. <laughs> I love the dog in O'Shea. Like oh, yeah. She is going forward. I like the body work, the body attack. Beautiful right hook up top there from Jones. Right, right. Sitting down on all her punches. I, I think if she if she continues to throw that right hook to the body, she's going to start slowing Sonia's attack down quick. This, this round, Corey, might not go past. This fight might not go past this round. If O'Shea keeps that energy, this fight ends in this round. I'd love to see a, a left uppercut and from And we O'Shea. see Haven Brady Jr. in his locker room watching this one intently. He is very close with O'Shea Jones. They've become inseparable in training camp. And see Haven uh, clearly finding it hard to focus oh. on his own fight right now. <laughs> he has a fight coming up, but he's watching his sister and he's rooting for he's, at, he's He almost feels like he's in the fight. I'm sure he's more think, nervous about the fight. I think the referee fight. needs to start looking closely now. Well, how she's can you a take your too eyes off damage. of this? This is an offensive clinic from O'Shea Jones right now. And this is a clinic in heart and determination from Sonia Drayling as well. Absolutely. The credit has to go two ways right now. But well, the offense is going only one way. If not the referee, Corey the corner needs to start looking closely if they care about a fighter. She's taking too many right hooks flush to the head. Wow. Drayling manages to survive this round. Beautiful offensive display by O'Shea Jones. I, I think that's the best we've seen right, Drayling right. do. Right now, overtime Tom is standing by with Haven Brady, who's still backstage watching this fight. Thank you, fellas. I am down here with Haven Brady. He's got a fight in a little bit, but you're watching your friend O'Shea Jones. First, how do you guys, what's your guys' relationship? How have you known each other? What, what's that? Uh, I've been knowing Shay for like three or four years, and that's like my real, that's my sister. That's my real sister. I feel like that's my real sister, but I haven't been knowing her for three years, for sure. And you're locked in now watching her fight, even though you got one coming up in a little bit. What's it like watching her put on a, put on a great performance right now? Uh, she just she just starting everything off, uh, and I'm going to finish it. So uh, she just giving me a lot of motivation. She looking good right now. I think she's going to stop her. Uh, she killing her with the hooks, but uh, she's starting to show, and I'm going to finish it. And now, you guys train together leading up to this? What, what, what were you guys doing before this? Uh, yes, uh, we've been training together for the last two and a half years, and uh, we uh, do camp together. We basically do everything together. We go home, we, you know, that's, that's my sister. And it looks like she's on her way to another win. Talk to her, me about her career, what this could do to, to propel her, especially in OTX. Uh, well, her being an Olympian, and uh, she, she, she got a fast start, and um, I think she shooting for a world title in the next fight or two. So, uh, that's, that gave me a lot of motivation, you know, as being a boxer, that's, that's the biggest thing, being a world champion. So, 
Uh, I think before this year out, for sure, I think she'll be a world champion. So I'm very proud of her. I love it. And your fight's coming up in a little bit. Can I get a quick little prediction for what's, uh, what's going to go, go down when you get in the ring? I Man, it's going to be fireworks. Just keep them phones out. And you don't tell me what's going to happen. It's going to be a great performance. I love it. Haven Brady, rooting on his friend, but also got fighting a little bit. Back to you guys in the booth. Much, Tom. Looking forward to seeing Haven Brady Jr. a little bit later on in our co-feature. Right now, it is more of the same from O'Shea Jones, who is just putting a pounding on Sonya Drayling. You know, guys, the more I watch O'Shea fight, the more comfortable I am with thinking about her fighting at Clarissa Shields down the line. I know she has ways to go, but the, the season style that she has is going to take her far in the sport. Well, I, I think it's absolutely fair, guys. When you think of who the next generation of potentially dominant champions is in women's boxing, that list has to include O'Shea Jones. You absolutely. Look at the pedigree, the dimensions, and also this element of her game, which is one that she's talked about wanting to resist, didn't want to bring that dog out all the time because she wanted to stick to the technicalities, to, to being more of a stylist. But right now, she's bringing it out at the right time. Oh, she's showing both sides. And, you know, obviously, a Southpaw is rare. I think the only big name in women's boxing as a Southpaw is Amanda Serrano. I think she has something unique here. You know, the only thing I'd be worried about with O'Shea is that can she punch herself out against a fighter that can take all of her shots? Well, and I mean, if, if that she had, happens, what does Dryling do after that? Well, that whole condition plays a part, Barack. If she's a fighter that is going to be ready to put that onslaught throughout a fight, then yes. Hard body shots and one more right hook right at the bell. O'Shea Jones putting on a clinic right now. Uh, it looks like we have Elijah Pierce and King Arthur Villanueva entering the building, heading down the hallways of the OTE Arena. This live look is presented to you by C4 Energy. Energy that hits. That's our main event coming up a little bit later on. Elijah Pierce really put his name on the map with his victory here in Atlanta last summer. And he looks to make another statement. He's been making a lot of statements online. Uh, he can make a physical one here tonight. He looks physically a lot better than he did at the weigh-in after the weigh-in yesterday. A lot filled, filled out a little bit more. You know, Corey, O'Shea says she's ready for a title fight, her very next fight. Even though this is a sixth fight, she's ready. We just had the doctor take a close look at Sonya Drayling. Very brief look. <laughs> the doctor was just looking at Drayling, and we heard, we could hear Bozy saying, please stop the fight. Do it again, say. Do it again. Yeah, just like that. Relax. Relax. Do it again. You hear the voice of Bozianis right now. Keep going. Try the body with this straight shot, too. A hard left hand right down the pipe there from Jones. So, Barack, I think she is finding the left hand now, along with the right hook. I don't. I mean, we have three rounds after this left in this fight. I think the crowd is not only listening, and the fans are not only listening to Bozy, but O'Shea's listening to Bozy. Look, Sonia's tough, no doubt about it. But at some point, the referee or her corner needs to start taking a close look and stopping this fight. There we go. And that is it. There we go. Right on time. And that is an ethical stoppage. And Sonia Drayling, understandably a warrior, she wants to fight to the finish. But at a certain point, guys, this is not competitive, and this is not safe for the fighter to be taking part in this either. No, but, but she's, I mean, she's a warrior, and she's saying, listen, my nose bleeds all the time. 
to wake up with a nosebleed. It, you know, so about, she's upset. It's not about the nosebleed. It's about the shots that are coming in with no defense at all. Too dangerous. Oh, it, 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 Railing as we take a look at the replays, the threshold in her world of bare knuckle boxing is a lot different. You can look a lot worse than that, and the referee will let it go. In Ooh. traditional boxing like this, you're not going to allow that to continue. See, the jab really set everything up before that referee came in, and that jab and that straight left was so precise. The referee had no choice but to just stop that fight. And I'm not mad at that, obviously. It was a one-sided beatdown. Yeah, and you, if you look at O'Shea closely, Barack, she doesn't look gassed out. She's barely breathing. She's in good condition. She could have went another four or five rounds. Reach title belt also on the line in this one. Obviously, that means a step up in the rankings for O'Shea Jones. That means speeding up the process towards some of those bigger fights that you were talking about, Ock. Right, since the pool is not so deep in boxing, I don't want to say women's boxing, but since the pool is not so deep, she can get to a title maybe in the next couple of fights. I mean, why a couple of fights? I mean, when you talk about guys that are medalists, these guys are fighting for world titles at one, two, three, and uh -oh, four come fights. On. Come on, not go, O'Shea. Go, O'Shea. <laughs> If you ask me, she's ready for a world title right now. Right now. But, but Dag, I, I, don't, I don't know if we're able to say that against Dryling. Maybe she is. I mean, she's far as Clarissa says. It's Shales. pedigree, Barack. It's pedigree. She's, had a, she's a decorated amateur. She's fought on an international level. And yes, the pool isn't that deep. All right, all right. You, you're finally right one time, and you got to rub that in. All right, thank you. Sonia Drayling getting some extra medical attention here. All right, well, as uh, Drayling gets looked at, let's send it back over to Overtime Tom. Hey, thank you, fellas. I am here with DD O'Shea Jones' his mom. You just watched her absolutely destroy someone. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All the hard work she's putting in is finally paying off. Now, she, she can throw a punch. Did she learn that from you? Of course. Yes, yes. When, when did she first start fighting? When did you realize that this could be a career for her? Well, she started at a young age and accidentally, she accidentally started boxing. Her brother used to box and one day her dad just said, strap up. She strapped up and it was a natural and it came natural for her. I love it. I love it. And now, you know, she's off to a great start with her career. What do you think it, the future holds for O'Shea? Definitely a world championship. Definitely the, a world champion. So we're looking forward to that and bigger things. All right, and you got a big crew of people here. Who, who's here with you guys? Everyone's supporting. Everybody, her whole family, everybody, everybody. All in Toledo, Ohio is here to represent. I love it. I can't wait for you guys to celebrate tonight. Congratulations, Dee Dee. Congratulations to O'Shea Jones. Back to you guys in the booth. You know, speaking of future, right? The Sona drilling at her age with this type of performance, should she continue boxing? I mean, at what level will she get to? Well, we know that she is a force in bare knuckle boxing. She has multiple disciplines she could choose from. But clearly tonight, O'Shea Jones, too much for Sonia the Red tonight. All right, looks like we're ready to make this one official. Let's send it up to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the OTX ring, an accumulation of punches. Forces referee Malik Walid to call a halt for this contest with an official time of one minute, six seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout. And now, the IBF International Super Welterweight Champion, O'Shea Sugar! 